let's see, just hold that thought. Yeah. Uh, swap this. Um, Alright, there we go. Maybe I can save it. Or. Okay. Okay, alright, yeah. So yeah, sorry, what were you saying? Uh, Something about Diddy, I think. Oh yeah, because um, there's oh, so okay. many more people playing Diddy, and it's becoming we're we're becoming esports, and <laughs> we're trying to get big and trying to get Smash Four into the spotlight. And I think a lot of people are just wary about Smash Four um, because Melee's been such a staple for so long. Yeah. And ooh, that was nice. They're wor they're just worried about the balance. Because I mean, Brawl was a lot. If you look at the tier list on Brawl, characters' position was largely decided on how their matchup was against Men Knight. Yeah, that's there were true. characters that were somehow fairly decent against Meta Knight, but were bad against the rest of the cast. That had a much higher. That up there was great. That was yeah. Yoshi's up there is very strong. <laughs> He's good. But okay, uh, yeah, there was after this finishes, which is gonna be soon. Um, yeah, there was with like I didn't watch Brawl. I'm not like I would never yeah. got into competitive ball, Brawl. Never interested. Really. I watched some. But, uh, um, I loved uh, seeing. Apex, uh, what was that, 2013 that Salem won? I have no idea. I love I, Salem I really played Zero Suit Samus, and he oh. was my idol for a while. You guys play Smash 4 right now. Okay. Uh, let's, uh, let's just finish this match and okay. then hop off then. Um, yeah, like the thing with that is like people recently have been saying for Melee that if you don't play Fox, like legit, like if, if yeah. you don't play Fox, you're not going to win a tournament. At the highest level, Which yeah, you're not going to win. Which isn't all true. Large though. tournaments. Well, like uh, the most recent one, the top. The top, three, actually top three, wasn't Fox at Apex. I don't think. I think it was what was it? Marth versus. No, it was Fox. It was Armada. Yeah. But yeah. he's he traditionally well, doesn't play. Yeah, but Fox. he's picking. He's switching he from Peach to Fox. So. He is. Okay. So, uh, all right. We're back kind to, of back to the match. <laughs> back to the match. This match is making me really regret staying uh, <laughs> Pikachu against Dreams. Anything because Wait, why? Meerkat's Yoshi is putting in very good work. Yeah, he is. Um, he was up a full stock earlier and is now got he's, quite the percent. He's got a clean two yeah, stock. Yeah, like she has this. this no I feel problem. like this. I feel like Dream could make the comeback. Any, any up air, pretty much at this point. Or, up air, or any as smash as attack. Air. Yeah, Sma Yoshi's smash attacks are very strong. His down, his down smash sends at almost a horizontal angle. Yeah, um, he's um, going for that forward air. Forward air. Yoshi's forward air is actually very good. It looks like it'd be one of those very <laughs> laggy moves. You end with a lot of landing lag and stuff. Yeah, but, but it auto cancels on stage. Oh, that's, oh, that's, that's good up there. Yeah, it like auto it's cancels on stage off of a, off of a uh, short hop. Does it really? Yeah. I didn't know. So that. you can approach with that. Oh, I mean, wow. it's not the safest option, but it's solid. And it's fifteen percent. It's it's. I would say it's probably Yoshi's one of Yoshi's strongest moves. Yes, yeah. for sure. Especially hits, as a kill move. It hits as hard as his forward smash uncharged. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's, Yoshi just has a lot of safe and just a lot of safe yeah. kill moves. Nair out of he, shield. Nair is a good kill move. Nair is very good, yes. He almost got that up there. He was really reaching for it. But yeah, as I was saying before, I actually got off. We got off topic. Oh, yeah, nice. Took, yeah, took, took it by one stock. Almost, almost to JV one yeah, stock. Yeah, almost. Uh, we'll yeah. see what... I, I feel like he might go Diddy. I don't think so, though. I... We're going to see a very fair. salty meerkat if he goes Diddy. <laughs> I mean, he did say he enjoyed the <laughs> Diddy play. But oh, he is. Isn't he? Mitch doesn't oh, enjoy Oh, maybe Greninja. What's he doing? Yeah, Greninja. That's right. Okay. That'll be interesting. I don't think I've seen much of this matchup played. I, it, it seems like a lot of people have a pocket Greninja. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Stood. No one he plays mains, those. No one mains Greninja. Like, not even any big players <laughs> I've seen main Greninja. They're just, everyone's kind of in the camp that he's all right. Yeah, he's yeah. he's pretty good, yeah. but he's not <laughs> special. Like, he's not very good. He's not. He was, but not anymore. Yeah, right after the, he was. Uh, um, a couple nerfs and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, down air not being able to cancel into his side B, um, because that was actually a very good option. You could down air and then out of the ending like at all initiate the shadow sneak. Um, yeah. Whether it was a long one or just an instant one to dodge what's coming after you. He still is um, very solid, I think. Yes. He's still sure. definitely a top and character. Shadow Sneak actually was buffed in that was it has it? yes. The Shadow Sneak itself. You can't do it out of the down air anymore, but it has less okay. ending. Yeah. <laughs> it has less ending lag. So that okay. it's a lot harder to punish it. So it adds a little bit more um, a little bit more fun to the character. Because okay. you can do the shadow sneak and you can get the uh, um, surprise attacks and stuff. And there's actually, I'm not sure if they patched it out, but at the start, like in the 3DS, I was practicing a little bit. There's a uh, advanced tech you can do. It's actually a sprinting shadow sneak, where because normally when you're doing shadow sneak, you can only walk back and forth. It's very obvious what you're doing if you're moving. <laughs> yeah. um, and so they look for the shadow. But there, if you hit the because uh, you're holding to the side as you initiate a dash and into a run. And if you hit the right 
on one of the couple frames as you transition from the dash into the running animation, he'll continue running forward, but the shadow is still extended. Oh, you see? So you can actually be sprinting forward to someone, they'll think you're going for a dash attack, and you pop up way earlier and hit him with the shadow stick. Oh, wow, well, I didn't know. Yeah. Uh, and I didn't know about that, actually. Yeah, not many people do. It was on, it's on Smash Bros, so most of the Grand mains on there know it. It's just <laughs> a very tricky... Um, you won't see it online just because the lag is bad, where you, the timing is completely different. Um, yeah. And it is really tricky timing. It's not um, input-based. It's strictly you have to press these at the perfect rhythm. Um, so it is a little tough to pull off, but yeah, it seems like good. pretty good results. Because Shadow Snake's very powerful, it has a good amount of knockback. Yeah, I would, I would say the Ninja is very solid. Yeah, and his, uh, he has good safe approaches with his dash attack. Um, if he did not have such a strong dash attack, I'd say his approach wasn't that great because his Nair takes yeah. a little bit to come out and stuff. Yeah. Um, but that dash attack, as you can see, he can follow up very quickly. <laughs> it just does a little swirl across the ground. Definitely. Uh, I think Greninja, I think his uh, pick to Greninja was probably a good choice. Uh, it it's like super close. Now, yeah. Definitely, yeah, I think this could make the difference uh, in this. What I was going to say before is, I don't think, people. a lot of people think Captain Falcon is top tier, if not like high tier in Smash 4, but I honestly think he's garbage. He's side Smash. He, yeah, yeah, Captain Falcon in Smash 4. He's, he's good. He's good. I no, wouldn't no, no, say he's, garbage. he's garbage. No, 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 he's not garbage. But... but <laughs> People vastly overestimate Captain Falcon. Definitely. Captain he's Falcon's ability, just because I mean, it's Captain Falcon. He's ama he's amazing. Um, <laughs> he's a very popular character. His personality is wonderful. Um, his design is wonderful. He's very fun to play. Um, oh yeah, I do enjoy <laughs> playing Captain Falcon. And as do I. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> In all games. <laughs> yeah, for sure. But I don't think his uh, performance is much above mid high tier. Yeah, I I would rank. I mean, I don't know what. Uh, if there's like a uh, he's a very solid pick against some characters but i was seeing some um i remember seeing at apex sky oh. playing as captain falcon against, yeah he's a um, captain falcon player and yoshi um he's switching more to yoshi because i think he's realized that captain falcon <laughs> is not as good as everyone thinks yeah because when the game came out he was like he, yeah he did he a lot of a captain couple falcon guides stuff. he made a couple guides on mario and then on captain falcon as well um, yeah and i remember he predicted that captain falcon would be one of the highest tiers or at least he was it. saying he was saying high to mid yes. and i think that's where he's gonna turn out i think sky i would say mid Word. I would yeah. say um, Once he's we a get solid more. character. Well, every I think everyone overestimates characters' abilities in Smash Four because, like Little Mac. Do you remember when the game came oh out? And say that I still, people thought Little Mac thought I was still a have problem with Little Mac. So. I do too, actually. I do too. But he's, do too. he's not the pain that people thought no, he was. No, he is a pain because he he does have a different play style. But he's not. <laughs> you have to he's play not the tournament safe. winner. Yeah, you have yeah. to play really safe, and I'm not good at that. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. Yeah. yeah. But this is still just a super close set. Yeah. Uh, there's no clear. They are. Yeah, they're right now. I mean, they're very close in percent. I mean, the down air from Yoshi will <laughs> up the percent <laughs> instantly. It doesn't um, do like 40%. It'll something. do it'll 20 do some. It'll do easy 20 if you hit with the whole thing. And he's going for it. Yeah, he um, is. If you hit with the whole thing on players, on Sandbag, it'll do up to 40 for some reason. I don't but, know why. Yeah, I feel um, like the it might be. Oh, it's stale. Oh, you. that might be. Because there's so many hits in it that it stales and it switches. Because I know oh. it switches from the initial hits three, then it starts hitting at twos, and then it goes down to ones. And I'm okay. sure that's what it is. It's hitting up to the eight or nine. Do that things stale down? Do they think stale that fast? It's a nine move cube. What? <laughs> <laughs> so if you hit, um, there's nine moves that are stored in the game's data on okay. what moves you used last. And so oh. if I hit with, if I hit with forward tilt. Nine times that it's gonna ninth and tenth one are going to be very severely reduced, not severely, but um, a good amount of reduced damage. And oh, okay. I believe knockback. I know in melee it's only damage that stales. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's only. I think, I'm pretty sure it's only. But damage. it is knockback that stales since brawl. Um, oh, okay. So that's another thing that. you really have to pay attention to is not overusing your kill moves. Like um, I do that. Yeah, I do that. I do that a lot. <laughs> I, do I do that, that a lot. Of Pikachu, just because. So you've got to really have a mindset shift from when you're building damage to uh, when you're trying to go for the kill. Yeah. Without making it look too obvious. <laughs> um, because yeah. you can see in a lot of these when people are fishing for the kill. Like right now they're playing good spacing games and stuff. Yeah, you can neutral. Playing a good neutral game. But once those percents start climbing higher, you'll see I've noticed Meerkat a lot of times going for those up airs. When yeah, they he may goes, not be the best goes, connection goes. choice. He's really looking for kills. Yeah, yeah, I've um, noticed that too. Where actually. they may not be. Um, Ooh, that was, that was wow. down, down B. Yeah, because yeah, I, I noticed he goes for a lot of Yoshi's, when he's yeah. in the air above him. Oh yeah, definitely. 
Um, Yoshi's down B is actually fairly good too. What is um, that? Down it's down the uh, pound. Oh the yeah, pound it's just and it's, it's predictable. Yes, it it's is. predictable. But um, it, is, it is. I mean, everything's a little hard to follow up on and punish in Smash Four, and his um, helps a little bit in that it has the little stars that pop out from the outside. Um, and that helps a little bit just to cover because people run in and try to hit you right as you're landing on the ground, but they'll get yeah. buffeted by the stars. Yeah, that's. So this, no, yeah, this, this is, is I don't, very close. I don't know. I don't know who's gonna win. Uh, I expected Dream to make it to grand finals again. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't know. If he loses this, he's. I think if he really wanted to do a lot better, he could pick a one like three max characters Ooh. and really put time into them. Because yeah, he has a lot of characters. He, yeah, he clearly has a good potential. Oh, oh, that up smash. Wow. That seals it. That was that The double was nice. hit on that up smash. Yeah. Just massive knockback. Would it have killed him if he didn't get the double hit? That's trickier. Um, hitting at the top, what was his percent? I think around low, 100 to 110. Low yeah, I don't think it would have killed if it was just a single one. He's pretty much on those platforms. It's a good pick for Greninja. Um, yeah, because those pl if they're on those platforms and you hit them with an up smash, it's almost assuredly going to be the up, yeah. Oh, really? Wow. Um, because it's where they cross in the middle. Oh. You have to hit it right there. Okay. It's the sweet spot. Okay. Um, I didn't know about that. I, I didn't know how to hit. by the time they're not crossing, they're usually below the platform height on Lilat. Um, so that's a really good option. Um, okay. Pretty much if you're hitting someone when they're on a platform, it's very rare that you're going to hit with just the same <laughs> Okay, I didn't so know that actually. Platforms are very strong for a Greninja to pick. It looks like Meerkat's oh, switching to Pikachu. Yeah, because he his secondary is Pikachu. Yes. He doesn't use him quite often. No. He he pulls out the Pikachu when... Pikachu. Uh, I, I think whenever he loses a match, he always goes to his secondary. Okay. Which I think works out usually, because last tournament... Uh, I th I uh, I beat him the first round. He pulled out uh, Little Mac, three stocked me, just destroyed me. And then he went to Pikachu, uh, and then I barely took it over him. It was it's, he has a good Pikachu, I think. Yeah. Last round, um, the second last tournament, the second round, I faced him, um, and he went. I was playing Pikachu, pretty much entirely. That was the only person I was playing at that tournament. Yeah. And, Wait, uh, who else do you play? Do you play anybody else? I play Yoshi now a little bit. Oh, too. do you really? Yeah, so we yeah. actually play a lot of the same characters. Oh, except okay. Except he will touch Little Mac and I refuse <laughs> to. Yeah. Um, so I can't, I think I faced his Yoshi the first round, or maybe it was Pikachu Ditto's the first round. I think he usually pulls up the Yoshi first round. That That's what he did with me. Um, yes, yes, it was. It was Yoshi the first round, and I took that fairly easily just because Pikachu can get in quick on Yoshi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Pikachu has a really nice combo oh game. I was considering maining Pikachu, Pikachu yeah. uh, just because of the demo. Yeah. I, I loved Pikachu in the demo. Yeah, a lot of people, when they were playing the demo, I didn't see that much looking at Pikachu. Like, no one was really paying much attention to him. Which I think is weird. he actually got a good number of buffs in that uh, oh. 3 patch or whatever that was, and then onto the Wii U version. Yeah. Um, nothing groundbreaking, but just better <laughs> damage, which he really needs. Um, yeah, he has, I feel like... He, his highest hardest. damaging attack is 22% off of a fully charged <laughs> side B. The, I, feel, um, I feel like Pikachu has a really hard time killing him. Oh god, yes. Too. Because oh that's, that's why I didn't actually decide to main him, because... Oh, that was, that was a nice quick attack, but yeah. punished because of yeah. that. Yeah, you need to... When um, you're hitting someone with a quick attack, you need to get onto the ground when you hit them. Yeah, um, so he was just going a little him. too high on the first one, because there's going to be a lot more ending lag when you land out of the ground out of special fall than it does if you hit the ground during the quick attack. Yeah, it, it um, was so close to the ground. You've got but. easy follow-ups if you would go along the ground instead of it. Um, I feel like he, 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 was, he tried to get the ground, but he was just so, ever yeah. so far away. This is looking pretty tough for Meerkat. Yeah. I, I He only managed to get 15% on him. Yeah, this is. Well, it'll be let's see if we can pull out. I, I, I feel like he could. I feel he's like he fully capable. Um, yes. Technically, yeah. I'm not sure how what, how prepared mentally he is to do it. Um, today, I don't know. He's been a little. I don't. I don't know how to describe it. But a little off today. Um, mentally, I don't know if that's because he's helping with the tournament or if he's just lost a few matches. He felt he should have won. Yeah, that's understandable. Like, when uh, you lose a match where it's like, yeah. you, th you think you have oh, it, it's I just like... totally understand uh, it. Yeah, I yeah. definitely feel that, but... Yeah. Stream. Yeah. Oh, wait, for melee? Yeah. For melee. Oh, I need to plug my... Yeah, Corey, can you plug my thing in? My thing. Wait, did we? We didn't start it, I'll did continue we? I'll commentating, so. Yeah, sorry uh, about that. Uh, actually, yeah, you and Narbs. Yeah, go play real quick.
Wait, who are you playing? Yeah, you are playing, so wait. Play so away. Sorry about that. Huh. So Meerkat's going for a few risky things here. He's oh, been yeah. doing some smash attacks, um, yes, which yes. I don't agree with, with Greninja being at 60%. He still needs to build more damage yeah, before he starts throwing out smash attacks. Yeah, this is going to be really hard. Yeah, this 3-0 yeah. three, three oh with 60%. Pikachu doesn't build damage fast enough. And Greninja's not... I mean, Pikachu could do it with Gimps. Um, yeah. He does have the ability to Gimp, but... Not Greninja has a good recovery. That Hydro yeah, that's does crazy. a very yeah. good job. Um, even hard to punish Austin when he lands on stage with it. Um, Greninja's so slippery, he slides around a lot. Uh, he lands in one spot and then winds up about halfway down the stage. <laughs> yeah. I found that pretty tricky. Yeah, uh, yeah I feel like uh, Mitchell's just losing the neutral game in this yeah. matchup specifically. For sure. With his Yoshi, he was... He was I, w I felt like he was controlling neutral almost the whole game. Yeah, so uh, that was but he, he interesting. Whoa, that was very nice. That was that. very yeah, nice. That's a good spot on that thunder. Yeah, that was. Um, I think that was. Uh, that was phenomenal. I guess. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's always really satisfying landing. Those, <laughs> seeing yeah. them drift right into that <laughs> position right above you because it's just that one little spot on the cloud and that first little string of thunder. And <laughs> yeah. seeing them drift right into that and having the uh, awareness Ooh. to hit the thunder. He did land that on the ground. That was good. Yes. That was that was good evasion. I feel. I think yeah, he would have hit him if he did not do that. Oh, oh yep. that side B. You've got a the side B is really tricky. I find myself it's a good recovery move, mm -hmm. but it's really only safe when you're high up uh, yeah. and you can be ready to jump out of it. You definitely want to burn the side B before you do the mid air jump because you'll yes. be able to do the mid air jump out of it a lot sooner than you can um, after then going you, out of it. Then you can do a uh, up B out of it. Oh, okay. because it's a little prep for the up B that I've been hit out of, and then it's a good roll behind and grab when he's stuck in the jab wall. It looks like Mitchell is actually taking this back. He is doing he's, very good. I don't think he's taking it back at a rate where he can oh, yeah, that that right right after that, yeah. do it. He that was, was, that was a good. At, was he was sitting at kill percent for too long. He yeah. just wasn't. He was. He was